Discover Atari. Atari! And discover how far you can go. One more day, Stephen. And that knee's gonna be fixed. You hope. Long recovery time. He's, uh, he's hobbling around in pain. He can't take painkillers for a week, right? Can't take anything. Oh, man. Day anyway, five. let me show you his next to the last game he finished before he was leaving. He's finishing Super Mario. That's what we're hoping. But let's show you Gauntlet Legends. Well, we'll start with this side. Isn't that nice? Just didn't need much talk. Uh, our touch up. It, it was actually an extraordinarily beautiful condition. See the header up top here? What they did is Atari was very clever. They made this big marquee. It's on a fold down. And by simply taking these two screws out, I'm carrying the camera around. See, we always take stills of all the games too before they go out. And this comes out here. I was, should have been more prepared. <laughs> and see that folds down. That has the speakers in it too. Isn't that nice? Now I can go through a normal doorway. Very clever stuff. They also made a kit to convert this to Gauntlet Dark Legacy, which is very clever. I want to show you something. The original factory plexiglass or Lexan was on the control panel. We took it off and cleaned it and put it back on because we figured, you know what? We think our customer is going to want the fact that the underlay under here is like brand new. Look at that picture. That is what I call high resolution, but the official term is medium resolution. That's the official term, but it is a super detailed picture. This is a, a, a Wells Garner, one of their um, tri-resolution names that they used with a purple motif here. Very nice condition, very, very low use. I want to show inside here, Walter, step over here. Now these have gigantic nuts that hold this panel down here. But you can see it swings up for ease. And look, looky here, folks. Yes, it's very similar to the Sinistar joystick that used the rubber uh, belt, the little, uh, the little uh, sleeve that moved it in and out. Yes, it's an optical joystick. They call it a 49-way. Beautiful joystick. There is no clickety click. The, I God, I hate micro switches. No clickety click. Isn't that nice? Now, now, I leaned on the start button, so I went ahead and started it. Before we do that, notice that all the connectors easy to unplug if you have to take the control panel off. It's four bolts. Another video shows you how the panels come off. You unplug it, and you just have to make sure you match up the control panel again. But the graphics Select in this are just terrific. The castle stronghold. The stereo sound is very dynamic. You are now entering the And the, the graphics Christian. are just beautiful. I always think of Lord of the Rings in this game. I'm sure you will remember playing Gauntlet, the original classic. Find the exit. What a terrific game. This is the kind of game you can play and play and play. Destroy generators. Now, yep, you want to pick up that right there. Now, I can use that to. Use magic there we to kill go. Enemies. There's my magic. Fire. See? There's my magic. You've seen the game play on this. I'm not going to play it. Let me show you what we have some neat things in the back here to show you. Oh, oh can you see in there? Gosh, I guess. Let me get this light. I want to show you this nice upgrade. Here is where the power supply or the uh, hard drive used to sit. That is gone. By the way, we have with our final thing is the blowout in here. We now have replaced it with that right there. Can you zoom in on that? Can okay, I might my head in the way? That is a non-moving part flash ROM drive. We also put a new battery in the system, which holds the scores in. It's a chip actually, and a brand new power supply. Chris has rerouted it. The original power supply system had this giant plug, okay? What Chris did is he took a, another end and connected this here, this extension, and it 
shorts it down to a normal size plug. So now the customer will not have to hunt through everywhere on planet Earth to get that special power supply. Up to me again. So you don't have to find that special power supply. Very nice. Now, the game is a virtual ton, but the wheels help move it. Manufacturing date still 12 11 98. We don't think this machine saw a lot of service. Oh, by the way, look. A fragile electronic device. That's that hard drive that just spins and goes bad. Baby, it's history. That hard drive is history. Oh, no enemies. Oh, I'm not doing too bad here. Now. Save keys to open doors and chests. Everybody's gone. Now I have to fight in this room. Yeah. What a perfect game. Of course, the more people that play, the better. We have the game set on free play, but it's very easy to, to put it back in the point up. And we give you keys and locks for the machine. That pretty much takes care of everything. Look. Almost done. The rarest of the rare. Carnival. The trim line. This is coming. We're going to do this video tomorrow. And Stephen is working feverishly to finish up Stupid Mario, Super Mario Brothers. You son of a... It's my videos. I can do anything I want. I can do whatever I want. I own the place. I own the place. I do. Now, when you buy me out... I hear that from the peanut gallery. See, that's Frank right over there. See, Frank is... Frank is hiding behind the Grand Lizard. How come you don't ever say you own the place when your wife's around? <laughs> Guess what? My daughter, Tammy, is doing the party tonight. We have a, a private party up front, and she's doing it herself. She's 18 now. You remember when she was little? Tiny? We built the pinball crib. I'll have to show you that. Thing. Oh, and listen. I'm going to be at the Pinball Expo in October, 30th annual Pinball Expo in so Chicago. if you're out there and you want to take them out, that's the time to do it. You better bring your, uh, uh, I'm going to have this man drive me out there. Good luck with that. His, his uh, wobbly knee will be better by then, won't it? <laughs> Good night. Have you played Atari today? Good night. Now get out!